in this tutorial i will be adding a power ball because if you remember from my last video that the ball was having an a constant impulse of 2 but i want this to be a variable so for power bar first i will add a variable called counter and i'll just add one event this will i will change this to from on key released on key release spacebar because I want this thing to happen when my spacebar is released but when I press the spacebar or rather when my spacebar is actually down I want this counter to go up add to counter 1 alright also I will just add a text box so that you guys can see what this counter actually shows this is very good for debugging purpose so this is something debug show all right so every tick event the text debug show set text to counter all right also i will add one key to restart the layout this is also very good for debugging purpose so when key pre on key pressed say r restart layout also i want my global variables to reset so reset global variables all right so i'll just show you how the counter is working as you can see the counter is going up and when I press the R button, the counter is resetting, the global variable is resetting, and also the whole layout is getting reset. All right, now what I need to do is that I need another variable, and that is power. It also starts from zero. Also, I want every tick this power. set the value of power to sign of counter also basically when I add sign of counter that means the sign function a number is going from minus 1 to 1 and then it's going to cycle between minus 1 and 1 and I want this thing to cycle from 0 to 1 basically I want this to cycle from 0 to 1 so I will add 1 if it does not make any sense just bear with me it will make sense very quickly I just make it absolute because it, I want it to go from 0 to 1 I want to eradicate that negative part so now if you see all right I forgot then one thing I need you to see the power so the text not this one sorry okay this counter so this is counter now instead of counter i want to show you power now if you see the power if you will be able to understand how the power is cycling let's look at this it is going from zero to one to again zero to one and then again it is actually decreasing to zero then again increasing to one so basically zero to one 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 1 to 0, it is going. So I want this thing to happen. And I will show you why. So 
actually i will create the visual visual representation of this then you will understand why i have done this okay uh, i will add the power bar now now it will be similar to the health bar tutorial i have did so it will be similar to that so i will be adding a power up i mean power bar so let's keep it a radiation color this will be our power button also i will resize it i'll resize it from uh, 100 by 20 all right and i will make sure this origin is at extreme left by pressing the 4 in my numpad i will add another of this power bar or, or rather another entity of this power bar let it be green in color power top size is same as the power button that is 100 by 20 and the position should also be the same just copy the position paste it down here oh and this image point needs to be at extreme left rather the point of origin that is okay so every tick the width of the power top set the width of the power top to power multiplied by 100 because power is going from 0 to 1 and from 1 to 0 and I want that to be multiplied by 100 because 100 times 1 times 100 is 100 so that is the maximum value so I'll just show you how it is happening you just look at this I am my space bar is down my space bar is down and this is the power button going on alright so I want this thing happen when I will release the ball when the power is high like this and it will go fast it will it will release fast or rather release very powerfully however if I release it slowly I mean if I release it when the power button is low like this I want it to release it release uh, slowly or rather re release with the less power so this should be simple in the impulse i am keeping at a constant 2 instead of that i will keep doing sorry this will power yeah impulse it will be power multiplied by because power is cycling from 0 to 1 so maximum value I want is say impulse that, that was a 4 impulse and I think that's a very good for average case the impulse the two, impulse 2 is very good for average case so let's say I want the range of the impulse from let's make it 6 maximum so power multiplied by let me think let me think about it let me think how it goes let me see how it goes power multiplied by 5 let me see how it goes it's all about trial and error all right let's see i think it's pretty good I actually want this thing to reset this power and all this thing to reset when the space is released so when my space bar is released I want my counter to be zero or rather reset my variables I want my power and counter to be zero let's see if it works in that proper way actually yeah it's fine
so as you can see if the power is high it is going high i mean it's much faster much powerful and if it's slow it's slow all right so this was it for this tutorial see you see you in my next tutorial thank you very much